Mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers, Facts. ACG boots. Uh. We 80s babies in early 90s when it got grimy. I was out of this world, you could not find me. Unless you check the lobby, hustling was my hobby. We was lobby boys before Jim Jones. You could catch me at Harlem eating Jim Bones. Being around us in here is going to be extra real. Just hold it down, you know what I mean? DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Let's get straight into this one. Now, when the mixtape at DVD Era, Mano came in the underground hip hop scene with a lot of street cred after being known for doing the 10 year bid in prison. Now, Mano had a formula at the time where he name dropped artists in his music, which really helped his buzz grow at the time. Mano would drop his rumors track, which he rapped about issues in the rap game and also took a few jabs at some of the rappers in the music industry. Now, after releasing the Rumors record, Mano would land his first deal with Universal Records. And after all the success Rumors had, Mano decided to record a similar record. Now, on his Take It Like a Man record, he took shots at the locks. Jay-Z and Little C's who he had a physical altercation with, Bad Boy Records, and also Wu-Tang. Mano would name crews like Rough Riders, Rockefeller, Bad Boy, and Wu-Tang and say that they're dead and finished. And in the video, he'll have their names laying in a casket. Now, it would be two people who didn't really take Mano lyrics too lightly. Now, one of the rappers who was a filler Mano lyrics would be Raekwon from Wu-Tang. Now, supposedly, Raekwon got a mutual friend of him and Mano on the phone so he could speak to Mano on three-way and he could confront him about his lyrics on his Take It Like a Man track. Two people addressed Raekwon to call in through somebody that we both was, was mutual friends. We, we got over it. Me and him was great friends to this day. Now, Mano and Raekwon have put their differences behind them and even worked on music together for it to the top. Bet that and Rilla. Now, supposedly, another person not feeling Mano dissing them on his record would be Diddy. Now, supposedly, Diddy seen Mano and he approached him. The other person that dressed me face to face on some G shit standing outside this building and somebody said, yo, Puff want to talk to you. Now, I'm not surprised that Diddy checked Mano in his earlier years, but I'm really not surprised that the chef checked Mano because y'all know Wu don't even be playing like that. Because if y'all remember, Joe Button said something about the Wu and he got hit upside his head. <laughs> I know I said I was going to stay in Queensbridge for a while, but I had to take that F train to the fore and hop on that ferry. But anyway, if you're a fan of these stories, tell a friend and tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. More content coming, and I'm out. One. <laughs>